Hi everyone, this is another Fireside Storytelling episode. This time I'm by a wood stove at her cottage. Thanks for joining me, and please pull up a chair. As I mentioned in episode 106, sometimes when I get discouraged, I like to build a fire like this to lift my spirits and to re-energize. Today's story is an excerpt from part one Warm Up Into the Future from Vanessa Andriotti's Hospicing Modernity book written by the Gesturing Towards Decolonial Futures Collective. I first heard this story in audio form while driving through a severe snowstorm on January 19th, 2022. The road was slippery. I could hardly see. I probably should have stopped, but I was mesmerized by the story and kept driving through the storm, not knowing how my trip or the story might end. I recall that the story inhabited my body and my spirit that day, where it remains. I believe that stories, including speculative fiction, have that ability to sit with us, and guide us through life. So this story takes place on December 10th, 2048, 100 years after the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. You're in a 3D virtual reality world conference where people are gathered to decide the direction of education after a period of catastrophic events. I'll read you a short excerpt from the end. In the period between 2038 and 2047, we finally accepted that we were part of the problem and needed to engage with our painful reality to avoid being wiped out. The Mars colony tragically failed in 2038, destroying our hopes for life on another planet. In 2039, a massive event made us all suddenly recognize the enormous cost of our mistakes. Finally, we could see that we were addicted to arrogance, consumption, and unaccountable autonomy. We realized that we needed mass rehabilitation. We grasped the gravity of the fact that we were only 3 billion people left on Earth. We understood that we had caused the extinction of 70% of all species and the extinction of all life in entire regions of the earth. And we were extremely close to causing our own. We recognized that planet earth is alive and that we are part of its metabolism, not the center of the world or a special species. We also worked out that humanity is capable of both horrendous and wonderful things. We started to face our own and others' humanity in all its complexity and be taught by the human wrongs we had inflicted upon each other, upon other beings, and upon the planet. Then we all had to learn quickly, collectively, and without schools or moral manifestos to heal intellectually, emotionally, relationally, economically, ecologically, and politically, to abolish colonial and racial violence, inequality, hierarchies of worth, and separations, to center the earth and decenter our egos, identities, human narratives, and projections, to age and to die in generative ways, to care for rather than compete with everything and everyone, to plant, repurpose technology, compost, repair, and regenerate everything. To prioritize the common good for humans, non-humans, and the planet. To use words and conversation carefully and wisely with humility and maturity. To own up, sober up, clean up, grow up, show up, and exist differently. What speculative fiction stories inhabit you.